I got ran over, ran over my foot with a gator, John Deere gator at work. They're little four wheel carts you drive around. Oh, John Deere, the green ones. Yeah, you see them for the kids and stuff. Yeah, yeah I know what you're we talking about. We use them in the parks. What do you do? Yeah, I do. I'm a gardener sprinkler sign. I got a, a certificate in horticulture. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you work for a car? See if you can get a job at the city. Yeah, oh, they're hiring good. How much they start me off at? I don't, I don't know. It depends on what you got, what credentials you got. You got any animals? Yeah. Do you? Do you do this, man? No. Okay. <laughs> Did you um, put it on? Yeah. <laughs> no. So a buck 75 for the washer and a buck 50 for the dryer? Yeah, that's like four bucks a load. Yeah. Oh, it's super clean in here, man. Yeah. Yeah, we had a little roof leak right there from the swamp. Okay. That's about it. Yeah, we try to keep it clean for the residents here. This is like probably the one of the cleanest ones I've been in. This is immaculate. Yeah, they had to come and read the That's door. Charlie. Yep, yeah, I'm Charlie. Is this your park here, Charlie? You own it? No, he lives right there in that one. I live there and I keep an eye on everything around here if I can. How long you been living here? Uh, a little over nine years. Oh, yeah? Like it? Yeah, it's quiet. It's cool. There's a little oasis in the... Yeah chaos around us we try to keep it you know quiet and nice around here yeah some elderly people we'll keep the riffraff out there we go man yeah <laughs> all right Ty, we're gonna walk down by the pool bro this is a, a nice park too man yeah this is clean yeah years ago years ago when i first moved in the owners you know they didn't take care of anything they just let people do whatever they want then they got some new owners that came in here and cleaned everything up. No parking your cars in the driveway and no parking in your yard. You know what I mean? Just shit like that. How long has the uh, the new owners, have they been, had taken over? About, they've been here about two years, but over the last 10 years, they've been fixing it up. Mm -hmm. So it's been cleaned up for a while now. Yeah. Over yeah, the they got, years. when the pandemic hit and they got all these, and they had all these spaces, they filled the, all the RV spaces are right here in the middle. They gotcha. filled them all up and all those people, they didn't stay either. I mean, they did stay. When I pulled in, I was like, are those people uh, seasonal or do they stay? But yeah. then I start seeing that their setups are pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, so they, like, no, they, they can come here. and go as they want, but a lot of them, they've been here. They, stay, they came and they stayed. So this is your pool too? Yeah, yeah they take good care of the pool. Do you get over here swim a little? Negative. Bring the ladies over, man. Hell no, not my fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you have to bring them, man. Nah, it's too many other people here, you know what I mean? Does it get packed in the summer? A lot of yeah. people use it? Yeah, a lot of kids, a lot of the kids. I'm, I'm too old for this, you know. I did when I first came, when I first got here and mm -hmm. came down and swam. But there was some old lady over there that thought she was the owner trying to make rules and shit about my dog. How old are you? I'm 60. 60 years old. How yeah. long you been living here? I've been here about 15 years. All right, so when you first got here, you were coming, coming over bringing all your dates over there. Y'all hang back and chill. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few, but it's been- Hey, a few. I'm, get, I'm getting kind of old, Ooh, so. Oh, all right, all right. Giving them a break, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what city are we in? This, we're in Glendale. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, All right. <sighs> you ain't been walking? No. All right. How long you been hurt? About four months. Four months now? Have you been uh, rehabilitating it? Yeah. I'm, I go to... I go to uh, therapy, but I was sick last week, so I didn't, I didn't make it. But it don't matter. I mean, it, my foot's, my foot's going to take what it's going to take to heal up. I mean, they want me to go back to work, but what am I going to do? You have to show them this video. But yeah, man. yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and, and move around, keep moving, because that's what I need. So you're going to get back to it? Yeah, I got to get back into the work. <laughs> Is your workman's comp kicking in? <coughs> oh yeah. But I was wearing that boot and made my back hurt, my leg hurt. 
And all of this cause you ran over your foot. Yeah. Oh man. It was an accident. I mean, been there to almost 20 years, so I'm almost done. You thinking, looking at retirement now? Yep. Hold on, I gotta sit down here. Wait. This is our trailer park trailer trailer <laughs> nobody can use. They used to have it up there in the front mm -hmm. when this when they had empty spaces. And they would let people put their, you know what I mean, if they had a couch or, you know, and then let them fill it up. But all the other people around here, they were bringing their shit from job sites and filling it up. What? And so. Oh, putting trash in there and stuff? Yeah, they, they weren't taking it from their house. You know, they are bringing it from Everywhere. wherever, you know what I mean, all the people around here. What's the, what would you say the reputation is over here in this area? It's a little bit rough down there on 67th or 65th because they got them halfway houses and stuff down there. But other than that, and then over there where all the homeless hang out at the park, and they mess up that whole Circle K over there. It's like, yeah, you don't even want to go in, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just, they, they try to run them out, but they, they just keep coming back, you know what I mean? I mean it was way worse you know, like last year. How long you been out here at AZ? About 40 years. And what brought you out? The police. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, what you mean, man, Jay? <laughs> police, I got in some trouble in Iowa and my mom was out here and I was living with my sister. And I got a couple of charges for breaking windows or something, and they made me a deal. Either I had to go to a boy's home until I was 18 or come to Arizona and stay with my mom. So I got on a bus, Greyhound bus, took four days. And I've been here ever since. All right, that's a hell of a sentence, though, man. Uh, four days on a Greyhound, that's a hell of a sentence yeah, in itself. That's better than a boy's home, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> that great house for days is bad. Yeah. Did you clean it up when you got here? Got on the right track? Nah. A little? A little bit rough, yeah, yeah. What'd you get it to when you made it out here? How old were you when you came? Oh, I just turned like, I was 16, but when I turned 18, I was going to Central High School. Then I wanted to work, so I got a job instead of going to school. And then I, then I started doing construction and did all that, drinking, drinking, driving, DUIs, all that shit. How many DUIs you got? Three. Did you, man? Damn. Yeah. So you, did you do time out here? Yeah. How much, how much time did you do? They gave me three years, but I only had to do six months. Where, Tent City? Six months, yeah. Where, it was at Alhambra on 24th Street in Van Buren where they have the dorms there. And it was, uh, I had three months in already and that's when Joe Powell started putting the tents up. Oh, so you got yours in before the tents yeah, came? Yeah, yeah. I had six months, or I had three months in in the dorms already. But then they, that's when Joe or Powell very first started the first tents he ever put up. And it rained on them and got them all wet and it was all muddy out there. <laughs> <laughs> then I had to do the rest on probation. Uh -huh. Which I did all right. Yeah. So no, do you drink and drive anymore? No. I, I had a heart attack about maybe two years ago. That was it. Did you? Yeah. So, you, so two years ago, you were drinking two years ago. Yeah. But then you had the heart attack and that's what made you stop. Yeah. That's what stopped you. Yeah. That's when you said, I'm, I'm But drinking. all those other ones were way back when I was younger, 25, 30 years ago. What did they say the cause of your heart attack was? Smoking. Cigarettes? Yep. And what's up? You, you still smoke yep, cigarettes? No, don't smoke. You, you couldn't you stop all oh, cold turkey? Yeah. Okay. We quit smoking. Okay. I had to. How much were you smoking? Two packs a day. Whoa. And a half pint of whiskey and a couple of tall boys. Yeah. <laughs> a day? A day? Yeah. Dang. And you stopped And I day? kept telling myself, something's got to break here. And then it did. I couldn't breathe one time, so. And I, and I felt it a couple weeks before that, but I didn't want to go to the hospital. But one night I was sitting here, I was like, fuck, man, that shit hurts. So I called 911 and they came over and 
He said, yeah, you're having a heart attack. Damn. So they took me in and did f like four stents. When they came, had you been drinking and stuff? Yeah. For real? So you was Smoking lit? Smoking weed, everything. When, when they got here, you was lit, huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are good. I thought I smelled something this I morning, see, yeah. man. I just rolled up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said, man, Jack's got to smell good around here, I man. Just took one, I just took one morning, you know, <laughs> in the morning. And I came out, I was like, well, what am I going to do now? You know what I mean? I do I do try to stay busy, you know what I mean? See my grass? It's nice, huh? Yeah, man. How you keep it so green? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gardener. Yeah, man. right? Exactly. Look at there. It's all jacked up. Look yeah. at this. Is this yours? Yeah. You own it? They don't rent them here. You have to own them. You can yeah. pull your own over here. You get it for the, for the RV spots, you can. Or like this guy over here, they're kicking him out, so they, that spot will be open. Which one? The uh, Right where that camper is. The RV? The yeah. camper? They're kicking the camper out? Yeah, that one right there. What have you been doing? What was he doing? I don't know. He had something over here, something uh, the yeah. manager didn't like. Cause she got cameras all over. Uh-huh. So she, she told him, don't have those people come over, you know? And that's what I like about this place is they don't... You know, those people can stay over there and do their, don't come in here, you know what I mean? You get one bad apple, you know what I mean? And then it fucks up the whole place. Yeah, no riffraff means no yeah. riffraff. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how much lot rent are you paying? This is 520. Have Have they been raising your lot rents since yeah. this? Uh... Yeah, when I moved in, I moved in about 15 years ago, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And um, it was 320 a month for lot rent and um, since then it's went up, you know, it didn't do too bad until after about the pandemic, you know what I mean? Then they started jack when they knew everybody was, you know, yeah. that's when they started doing, every year they did 20 bucks, so it's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That was, they took it easy on you. Yeah, 520 heard, is good. I heard of other parks that uh, they've been raising it. I've been hearing other parks getting up 800. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. they raise it 100 bucks. Charlie's buddy over there, they did that too. I mean, and he was just in one of the RV spaces, but as long as you're hooked up to the water and the sewer here, it's just like we are, you know what I mean? They, they, don't, get any, they don't get any discount for being an RVer. So here is 520 a month, and uh, that includes your water? No. You, you pay your own water. Water, water's cheap. It's like twenty-five bucks. With utilities and everything, every month is about seven hundred. That's water, gas, uh, sewer, cable. You know, shit like that. Yeah, I own it. Seven hundred bucks for this place. Get out of here, man. I'm serious. I've paid seven hundred bucks. My mom knew a lady that her. Son lived up there in front in number two, the second one in, and they had it and they were selling it because they bought a house. And um, I was living with my mom back then because I only had a few years in with the city and I wasn't making anything. They were taking it for child support. And I told my mom, I said, I, you know, I either got to quit and go somewhere else or come and stay with you. So she, she said, yeah. So I stayed there for about five years. And then this place, then they were selling that, this, and they wanted 1500 so I waited a little bit. And and I said, I offered them 700 bucks. And they said, yeah, buddy. Yeah, and took it. And I took it. You've been here ever since. Yep. That's and what's said, up, and then I got out of my mom's. That's what's up. How long you plan on staying here? Until I'm ready for the box. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. But I fixed it up. It wasn't like this at all. I put, I painted, I painted the whole place about last year. Um, I won some money at the casino, so. How much you win? 10,000. On the slots? <laughs> Did you win? Yeah. <laughs> so I painted and then I, I just fixed it. You know, I put new carpet on the stairs. Cleaned it all up. The awning was already here. The inside I did. The inside I did a lot when I was off work. Because last time I was off work, I just, you know, I didn't do shit really. Mm -hmm. So this time I'm off work, I said, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So I've, I've 
and painted the whole inside. I did the bathrooms. I made right. it look fun. Nice, man. Show us, man. Let's check it out. Come on in. So, James, you, uh, no program, no nothing. You quit cold turkey. Yeah. I, I, I use these. These are ons. Let's give them a free commercial, man. Ons. They're um, nicotine patches. You just put them in your mouth for a little bit. Whenever you feel like that you got an urge to smoke, that's yeah. how you do it. They got different flavors. They got coffee flavor. They got mint flavor. They got citrus. And what yeah. about the the drinking? Would you say would you label yourself an alcoholic? I used to be, kind of. I don't know if I label, but yeah. I went to AA for twelve years. Hi, uh -huh. Buster. Hey. What's up, man? Hey, Buster, being lazy, huh? <laughs> Buster, just checking you. Hey, man, I see you strapped up, man. Yeah, a couple of them. Hey, this is but nice, yeah. bro. So, what? How many bedrooms is this? Two. Two bedrooms. Now you have it set up where you have your bed right this here. It's been here since I moved in. I never moved in. Are you serious? <laughs> 15 years, right here. Right here. All right. That's where I started when I moved in. It, it, it all used to be paneling. And I cover it. And I said, I don't, I don't want to see no more paneling. And I painted over it. It looks pretty good, actually. It looks real good, man. Yeah, I did the color myself, everything. Yeah, it looks real good. Yeah, so you just took your time. You, you got actually, it was the paint that they had left over from outside the trim. I just added some white to it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't the exact color because I didn't want just white, white. But yeah, I did the countertops. Look, I did these. I made these out of flooring. You know that wood flooring you put down? Uh huh. I made this out of it, and I made that. This right here? Kitchen table, yeah. That yeah. one I put that thick polyurethane on. The high top, that's what they call yeah. it. That's a nice finish that you did too, man. See, I did it on those things there. See that bird I made with the flames? I made that. And I made the, that other clock right there. Mm-hmm. And then I made that clock. With the phoenix sign. Yep, and then I made the birds. What Pretty do you make cool, those huh? out of? It's plywood. That's wood? Yeah, it's plywood and then I airbrushed it. Wow, man, that, that's real. That's really good. That one doesn't have no polyurethane. That's just hardwood. But you can see the wood on that. And this yeah. right here, man, this looks like a uh, glass. Yeah, that's that stuff you pour on, like I did on my table. It's a um, epoxy. Epoxy. There you go. There it, you it's go. It's equal to seventy-five coats of lacquer. When I got this room here, I didn't. I didn't do anything to this room for ten years until I had my heart attack. And since then, I painted it all. I put a new bathroom in it. Look, I did the flooring. This bathroom was smaller. So do you have now, do you have two bathrooms here yeah. too? Yeah. Two full baths? Yep. Do you? I wanted a walk-in shower, so I made this. See, I did the walls, everything. This, it's out of flooring. I did the walls. Got you. Plus, I moved it back. So I, I moved it back like this far. So that closet's there no more because it was real small. You Where was know? it at before? It was here, but it was tiny. So I'm saying like this right here, and then you set it back this way? Yeah, I set this back. I moved it back um, this far, mm -hmm. and then I moved this out like about. Okay, so you pulled it out this way. Yep, and then I moved it that way. Got so it was, it was tiny. It was like a yeah. little. Yeah, you could barely get in here. Got you, man. It was 27 inch, 27 inch. I put a 36. And then I moved the toilet. See, the plumbing was right there. Mm-hmm. That's how far it went back. You know what I mean? Okay, you were stopping right here. That, that's front. where the wall was. So you can see where I did the. Yeah. And then I painted the flames. I like the flames, man. I started on airbrush and doing flames, and I don't know. I was, I'm, Painting everything with flames. <laughs> right, right. You just going in. Yeah. And I found that that cabinet down the road. Somebody was throwing it out, and it was painted all black and nasty. I took it apart and cleaned it all up. Yeah, buddy. There we go. They're 150 bucks at Home Depot for for one of those for a cabinet. You know, a decent looking one. That one's old school. That's why I like it. The glass and everything. Yep. This is where I got all my airbrush stuff here.
So this is where the, the magic happens. My dragon, look at my dragon. <laughs> that was just practice. Uh, I was doing a YouTube video trying to draw. So I drew that on a piece of paper and then I just started airbrushing because they were saying how to get it, you know? Yeah. When you do airbrush. And then I see you got a poodle here you made, huh? Yeah, my brother made that. My brother, they're made out of chicken wire. I covered him up because he was kind of flimsy, so I shrink wrapped him. You know, I thought that was uh, made out of wood, actually. No, I, I'm still working. That's why his eyes, I got to get his eyes, and then I'm going to put a top on him. But he's stronger than he was before he was kind of flimsy. I'll show you the other one. Here's the other one. Man, you got Phoenix all over the place. Yeah. You, you, you like Phoenix, man? Huh, yeah. Do you I man? work for the city of Phoenix 20 years. Best job you could ever get. That's a good job. Okay. Yeah, it's been a good job. After construction and everything, I was getting too old for that. And my stepdad said, what are you going to do when you get older? I said, I don't know. And so he got me to help me get the job with the city. So and those, it's not as hard, but it's not as much money, but it's smooth. Steady, yeah. Slow and easy yeah. runs the race, man. Yeah, so there's the other dog. My brother Tim made those. He passed away. Sorry to hear that, man. He's like a sculpture guy or whatever, but wannabe artist. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what else you want to see? Uh, let's see uh, in the back there, the uh, back room. Yeah. There's my first bird I painted. My first one I did. Hey. The guy at work had a, did one in his in the building maintenance shop, but he did like a six foot. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. So I came home and I took a brush and I had two colors. And I just, it took me a while, but I just wanted to do it. Here's the other bathroom. I'm gonna put a jacuzzi in this next. But I redid it all the floor. All the floor was all nasty. I found the flooring out on Myrtle Avenue, 12 feet by 24 feet. And it was in that room forever. And I got tired of looking at this, so I put the floor in, did, up, did all the painting, put new sinks in. I did this in about two weeks. I just started on it, and then once I got started, I had to finish, you know what yep, I mean? Yep, I know exactly what you mean. Yep, like but I'm gonna, there's a Stardust place up here. I'm gonna get, the, they got a jacuzzi bathtub. I'm gonna put it in here now that I know how to do it. Because I had done remodels before. So okay. I know how to do it. Yeah, I can tell you did remodel. When, when I moved in, there was a swamp cooler used to be up there. And this whole thing from right here, all the way around to the kitchen was all caved in because of the moisture and water. Mm -hmm. So when I moved in, I fixed all that. I took the cooler off, fixed up there. I put new carpet in it and painted the ceilings. And then eventually I got all the paneling painted. Like right there, the paneling was all buckled and rippled from the water and shit running down there. I didn't even replace it. I just ripped the bubbles off and I put some joint compound on there, like a texture. You can't even tell. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Looks Everything good. looks smooth and straight, man. This here, the door was missed and they cut the door off right here so the swamp cooler could go. Look, I put the door back like brand new. Yeah. And then in here, see the carpet was brand new. This was when I moved in, they, but I didn't use this room. I just used it for clothes. Yeah, so this is your closet. Yeah. I put the door on here. I made that little th thing because you had to go back that way to get it, you know, any of the, use any of the spot. So I put that in there. I made them shelves. Did this, I mean, this just covered up. Put the metal shelves in there. Came out badass. I put this the door, this paneling was loose. And I said, well, for shit, I'm just gonna put some hinges on it. Now I got good access. Yeah, buddy. That's what's this up. room's never been this clean. That's oh uh, for real. Are you serious? Mm -mm. And then I show up. Now it's all cleaned up. Yeah, well, some reason, for some reason. <laughs> it's the universe. I man. thought my maybe my mom was coming <laughs> over or something. Right. <laughs> 
But yeah, no, I just wanted to do it because I was off work. You know what I mean? I had paint. You know what I mean? I had money, so why yeah. not? Yeah. I just bought some mist tint paint from Home Depot. The, you know, five gallon bucket for fifty bucks. You know, mm. normally it was two hundred, and I just took white paint and I just added to it because it was like a blue. Now this color, I said, that's it. And my ceiling fan's in the works. Charlie gave it to me. It's kind of low though. Right heck, yeah. That's something it's like a helicopter. Get your head chopped off, man. You <laughs> turn that thing on. Look here, it's got a remote. <laughs> you got it hooked up? Hey. I just wanted to see it work. You know what I mean? That's medium. And that's high. Yeah, they blow some. Yeah, they put some air out. Yep. I was going to spin them and then. Then uh, paint them, you know what I mean? Take the airbrush and go like that with it, the color, of, yeah. see what it does, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you are an artist, huh, man? Yeah, I like to fuck around with shit like that. Let's uh, ready and see what it does. Here goes I, some more Phoenix signs. Yep, these I, cabinets here I found too. These were with the, the one in there. I redid them. How many kids you have? Two. Are they all out here in Phoenix? Yeah. Uh, Jessica's going to be a health inspector or like a food inspector or whatever for restaurants. Jenny's in the insurance, so she... Two she, girls. She makes bank. And another thing is, is I, when I bought this place, it only had that cooler, but they had an air conditioner out here in the back, and my buddy came over and hooked it up and put a new, couple new valves on it. And it's been working for 15 years. Got it back working. Yep, the, and it's a big one. You know what I mean? That sits out there. But it was laying out in the back. I said, hey, George, come on, let's try this. Put I, it call, together, him, I huh? call him every year. George, hey, man, the very sees blasting. <laughs> <laughs> you got it nice and cold yeah. over here. And yeah. you just, hey, it was just laying out there. Huh? Damn, AC just laying out there. AC unit just laying yeah. out there. Uh, and all the duct work works, the heater works. I mean, it's a gas heater in five minutes, it, it goes boom, boom, like that. And it, Had this whole thing heated. Yeah, huh? heated. Run you up out of here. Yeah, and the AC will run you ass oh, out. Oh, yeah, when they make it cold. you out. <laughs> <laughs> like an AC in the city trucks, man. They get cold. I do that. You can see your breath. Are you serious, man? Yeah. And then out here. This whole thing had those honeysuckles are the honeysuckles the ones with the orange yeah you don't like those yeah it had those things there but they had these ones here going all the way up the stems were all the way up over this thing so you couldn't see out here i took them all out i'm gonna put some other plants here that way i got kind of like a border yeah you know what i mean privacy i didn't stuff. want i didn't want i don't like that white thing they got up there but it was there when i got here so you just leave because the sun set on that yeah, side the yeah sunset. it does block the sun a yeah, lot that's what it's for so hey man i like this bro yeah so i see you have a, a you got your own washer and dryer yeah so you don't go over there to the washer no hell no i ain't paying four dollars a load yeah that lady over there in, in number 10 she must go in there 10 15 times a day it's like why don't you you could you she could have bought five brand new washer and dryers yeah i've had these out here i paid a 100 bucks for these for the set yeah well i paid 35 at a yard sale and then my friend gave me this from down there for 75. but they've been out here for years working just fine yep for 30 bucks at a yard sale man they keep going, like it keep going yeah got a grip of room just think dude 700 bucks you're doing it the way that um it should be done. You don't really want to live above your means. No. Yeah, I never could. I know how to cut corners and save and, you know, buy shit when, you know, or wheel and deal, whatever, you know what I mean? I, I'll save a dollar wherever I can, you know what I mean? I'm not. You know what, bro? You got you got everything that you need out here. And that This one here was just the, the guy trashed it and then he took off and, uh, they gave they gave it to the guy they gave it to him but they had to fix it up it's free for the trailer and everything they just got to fix it up and pay the lot rent they fixed it up good he did a nice job on it are they living in there now or yeah 
Yeah, David, he's cool. Him and his wife and their grandson. He does roofing, and then, so he built his shed. And... You get you a, a old lady to move up in here with you, man. No. If I want some, I'll just go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not, I haven't been, you know, in a relationship for a lot of years, and when when I, you know, got a job at the city and got established, I was going to. I said, should I get a girlfriend or should I get a dog? <laughs> so that's I got Buster. Oh yeah, yep. little Buster. That's yep. a little homie right there. Yep, he was just a little what, bitty dog. Uh huh. So <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Hey, that don't make you a bad guy, man. Yeah. No, I mean, if I run into somebody, I will, but I'm not going to, ch I ain't chasing nothing. Bruh, you all good. Yeah. You don't need that, that, you said you don't want the yeah. riffraff. You She'll can't be... do this, can't yeah. do that. Yeah, Hey, dude, I was fucking sawing in the house. I was spray painting in the house. <laughs> you think you could do just that? sanding in the house, all that shit. I was thinking, man, if I had a wife or an old lady, she'd be all, no, you're not going to do that. Exactly. It's I'll over. you, man. I, I do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's over, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening with this car, man? You said you had this car for sale. Yeah, you want to buy it? How much you selling it for? Two thousand. Two grand? What's wrong with it? Um, I don't know. I think the oxygen sensor. I ordered one from Amazon, so it should be coming. Is that what it is? An oxygen yeah. sent? Uh, an oxygen sensor? Yeah, it makes the check engine light come on. Do you know how to put it on? Yeah, they're easy. It runs. It runs. It starts up. It's got good tags. I pass emissions. The check engine light coming on right now? Huh? The check engine light coming on right now? Yeah. So, uh, what year is this? 1990. 1990. Old school. It's for the uh, historic <laughs> place on here. Yeah, AC blasts good. Do it, man. Yeah. Hey. I took good care of it, man. That's just the way I got it when I got it. Hey. I got it donated to me from a guy that I worked for doing uh, building houses. He was going to buy his wife a new car, and he was going to donate that to somewhere. And I said, you donate it right here to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I had it ever since. James, I like your style, man. Yeah. $700 house, $0 uh, car. Yeah. I like your style, man. I drove it for 20 years. Dude. All the years I paid child support, I didn't have no car payment. Mm -hmm. But I fixed everything that went wrong with it. And Charlie's daughter was going to buy it. She lives right down there. She lives in one of the RV spots. Okay. She was going to buy it. But then when I started it up, you know, I, I've started and had it running for, for years. And I just passed emissions and got new tags on it. So the tags are good till next year. And, and then the fucking engine light. That's because I haven't drove it. You've been driving your new car. Yeah, I don't. I don't drive it. I started up driving around the trailer park once in a while, but that's about <laughs> it. It's open. The inside's clean, dude. The windows need tint. The windows. The inside's clean because the gas gauge stopped working. Somebody, uh, the guy changed the fuel pump once. Mm-hmm and he burned up the gas gauge. So I bought a new panel, an instrument panel, and put it in with the new gas gauge. Cause yeah, I don't want to drive with no fucking gas, you know, not knowing how much gas I got. All right. Nice, man. All, all the windows yeah, working, man. everything, all yeah. the power. Nice, man. Yeah, just like I said, the windows, man, the windows. You just need to be retinted, that's all. Yeah, they're bad. Man, that dang license plate. I ain't never seen a license plate that faded, man. <laughs> That's the original license plate. I, I guess so. Yep. They never did give me a new one. I don't know. After all them years, uh, see all them tags on there? Yeah. After all them years, I don't know why they, you know, didn't give me a new plate, but they never did. I want to show it, but I ain't going to show you license plate on here. But, man, yeah. that thing, all the paint off of that joint. This car, brand new, was 25000 in 1990, that's a lot of money. Yeah, especially you think back way back These in 1990. These are luxury cars here. Yeah. I went to have the alarm put in it, and the guy wanted to charge me extra because the metal is thicker. The metal, you know what I mean, is thicker than these things. And this thing cruises, a highway cruiser. It run, huh? I used to have the bitches in the back of this thing, <laughs> fucking. Yeah, buddy, man, driving around. 
fucking <laughs> right there in the back seat. It worked great. I fucking even had some pillows for their head so that his neck didn't get sore. Right, right. That's nice of you, man. That's nice of you, man. Thoughtful, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met a bunch of them like that. You did a good job on uh, really just selling the lifestyle because you want to be able to enjoy life and not be strapped down to bills, you know? Yeah. So this is the way, this is the way it's done. Yeah. So I can do you know, it. No, I maintain, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not, I don't need a lot of money. Just, just be comfortable and that's it. You know what I mean? I got, I got food, you know what I mean? I got money, I got credit, yeah. you know, I got whatever I need.